Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new week. Um, my name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, welcome to my update videos where we talk about the work that I've done this week. Um, but before we get started into what's been happening, as always, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Uh, these are the, the people who make it possible for me to work on Inkscape. And uh, this week's Ride the GNU sponsor is System76, um, who kindly provided me with the computer that I use to program in Inkscape. Um, thank you all so much for your help. Um, this week was actually very interesting because I needed to take some time to uh, do uh, some of the design work and work through some of the designs that have already been done for the next part of the pages. You'll remember from last week we talked about uh, which which of the pieces of work was going to have priority, and um, generally the consensus was is that more more work on the pages, and then color work after that. So uh, what I did was I took a bunch of the existing designs, uh, designs by let me see if I can make sure I get this name right, um, Jorge Toledo and Adam Bellis, who you've probably heard of before. Um, they spent some time back last year when I when I first finished the multi-page work, thinking about what the next steps would be. So I've used them as inspiration and in some of the designs. And I've been thinking about all of the comments that you've left about what features that you might want and what things you think are missing. Uh, and I've been trying to distill those down into a design. Um, so the design, I what I've done is I basically created a priority list of things that I want to work work on. Um, so as you can see, it's uh, one margins, two outputs, um, three is things like index labels, duplicates at four, cropping view, so you can only see the the items at five, uh, selecting multiple pages and acting on them at six, uh, organizing them with uh, grids and layouts and stuff like that at seven and uh, guides, specific guides for paid pages at eight. Um, oh, and marks if I can get, get to it at nine. Um, this is not an exhaustive list, and if you have ideas, please do provide them, there's still time. Um, but what it is, is it's a, it's a mental uh, map of the kinds of functionality that people have been asking for and uh, how we're going to implement them. Uh, you'll notice that margins, outputs, and organizing have some subcategories. That's just because there's actually some pieces to them, uh, and I think that they're bigger pro projects in and of themselves. Um, so I, th I think we've got a general scope of what we're going to do. Um, so let's move on to some actual work that I've done uh, this week. So the first thing I want to say is we actually have a first... Uh, I would say major pro problem with the, the 1.2 release. If you have the export dialog open and you have the fill and stroke dialog open and you copy and paste an item with a gradient or a clipping mask and then you undo, I understand that this is a, a lot of steps that you have to do, uh, your document will be corrupted. Um, this is a serious problem because we don't want data to be corrupted. Uh, so there are discussions ongoing about how to, to make a new release, a point release to fix this and a couple of other problem problems that have happened since. Uh, so I actually provided the fix this week. Uh, I, I actually had to run down and investigate what the issue is because it's a very subtle problem between two different stacks of signals when something cha changes in the XML the document. Um, but we have a fix. Uh, and now it's just a matter of organizing to decide how to release it. Um, I also worked on two bits of fun functionality. So I, I wanted to do some little things to just keep keep the joy up. Uh, and this was, I added some visual re reference nodes when you're using the pen tool. So it, as you're drawing, it will tell you where the last two points are. Uh, some designers wanted these nodes to be editable and for you to be able to edit all of the, the nodes. It's a slightly different piece of fun functionality. Uh, so what I did was I made some notes about how it would be possible to make the, all of the nodes editable in the pen, pen tool. And I've saved those for later. 
Um, maybe some other developer will come along and I can pass those notes along. Maybe I'll get time at some point in the future to do, do, do that work too. Um, I also added a functionality where you can um, uh, reapply the same transformation that you had just applied. So imagine, for example, you have a rectangle, you move it, and then you want to move it by the exact same amount again. Uh, you can just press a key com com combination and reapply the tr transform. Or better yet, there's a different key com combination which will duplicate and reapply, uh, which means it, you can very quick, quick, quickly create a grid of items by just applying one tra transform and then keep on duplicate applying until you've got, you, you have an entire row and then select the row, do the same thing until you have an entire grid. Uh, this was a feature suggested by uh, Freak, Freak? Uh, from his Twitch. Um, so thank you for the suggestion. It was actually kind of fun to implement. Um, oh, I, you know what? I, I completely forgot in last week's vid video and I almost forgot in this one. Um, <laughs> so, what I wanted to do is I wanted to ask you, uh, dear viewers, um, for templates. So you remember a couple of weeks back, I was doing templating work, uh, developing extensions, like trying to fix up the way in which we were showing templates. Well, the, there are a couple of different templates that are kind of floating around on, on, on the internet for like, hey, you can make a t-shirt with this temp template, or hey, you can make you know hexagonal stickers with this tem template. Uh, those should be in Inkscape, right? We should be shipping those, um, but I don't. I don't have them. I don't have them c c collected. So if you have a piece of work that you do, architectural drawings, um, uh, electrical di diagramming, um, some specialized print work, something like where you think, oh, if I could just start with this kind of cam canvas and it, with these particular settings, uh, it doesn't have to be just a paper size. It can be like a bunch of guides and some other stuff. Um, please send them to me, right? So if, if you want to have a piece of your work in Inkscape that's shipped to everybody, uh, send me your templates and I will work with you to get it into Inkscape. Um, whew, thank, thankfully, I've remembered that one. Um, I was supposed to ask you last week. Okay, so now let's quickly get to the part of this video where I talk about the Inkscape work that I didn't do. Uh, other Inkscape developers and contributors who have helped move Inkscape for forwards this week. Uh, first, I want to give a shout, shout out to Ted Gould. He is one of the OG uh, Inkscape de developers from 20 years ago, uh, who is still wor wor working on the, the Ubuntu packaging. Uh, he this week released a Snap update. This is a, a, a Linux Ubuntu package where he has encapsulated more of Inkscape to make it safer to install. Um, this is actually really nice. We like to see our packaging uh, be really proficient on all pl platforms. Um, PBS, as always, has been uh, cleaning of the various code. In this case, he's been doing font style clean cleanups. Uh, and he also clean uh, did a fix to the overlay mode. Uh, there's a new person who I don't think I've mentioned before on these videos called Giam Bastista Caltabiano. Sorry if I've mispronounced your name wrong. Uh, they did improvements to the gradient tool toolbar. He actually did quite a few improvements and they've just re recently been merged, uh, allowing multiple gradients to be selected and changed in the tool toolbar. Uh, really nice work, well done. And then uh, Raphael did a small fix to the submenu so that recently used uh, files, if there was none, it wouldn't just show a, like a broken men menu. Um, that's it for this week. I know there are a couple of other developers who are working on getting some point fixes in for the um, various fixes that have happened in the past. Um, we're just trying to bundle them into the next point re re release. Um, it's a really great team when we pull together to try and get the fi fixes out. Uh, thank you for all of your kind comments, and uh, I'll see you all next next week.